All right, gonna be doing a different video than I usually do. I mean, I've done a Blu-ray collection video, but today I'm gonna do a uh, Metalcore and Deathcore CD collection since I've gotten into collecting CDs lately. Um, I don't have too many as of right now, but I keep on getting more every week and whatnot, so I figured I'd just do one when I first started. Um, I got some good rare CDs and just some other CDs that have been some of my favorites of the years. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is the first one in the pile. They're mostly in alphabetical order, but you know, um, Kitchen Stream Wormwood. I just got the box set uh, in the mail yesterday that Prosthetic Records had on sale for six dollars and sixty-six cents. So I figured I'd pick it up since it's one of my favorites from them. Got the box over here too. Here's a little box set it came in. Okay, 25 out of 900. Comes with a fucking chip clip and a pen too. Come with a flag also, which is up on the wall. Back there. The artwork and whatnot. But, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much what that came with. Alright, um. All it means, Fall of Ideals. It's my favorite CD by them. After this CD, I think they're pretty much shit. Even though the CD that came after this was had a few good songs on it, but uh, this is my favorite from them. Back when they were really metalcore. Got a uh, Alshaw Parish Price of Existence. Definitely one of my favorites of all time. And deathcore genre. Pretty cool CD too. I don't like my shit upside down. But uh, let's see. I got A Week in the Dreamers. Also, this comes with the DVD on it. Two disc DVD. Pretty uh, good album, one of my favorites also. Still need to get all the rest of them that they've made. I just haven't got around to it yet. Let's see, um, Annotation of All Time, see? Before I throw an infection. Uh, I got this, let's see, at Earache Records, I think, for like $7 or some shit like that. But it's a pretty good death chord, like Slammy CD. Came on like, well, I think it was 08 or something? No, 09. I also got this the same order. Hands down one of the best Death Core CDs ever made, prior exception. Um, every song on this is fucking gold, pretty much. CD art's pretty sick. I'd probably get uh, about another 1,500 of those CDs. Alright, uh, here's uh, Angel Maker's Decay EP that came out in 2012. They're a Canadian Death Core band. If you don't know who these guys are, you're fucking up. Got it signed by them. Mike and Jesse and all the rest of the guys. So that, that's pretty sick. Got friends with them on Facebook. Um, as Bones Black, Allegiance, their best CD, I think. I think everything after this CD was pretty much mediocre. And they lost their magic, but uh, cost me like 30 bucks on Amazon, but I got it. I'm not sure if it's the original. I think it's the original because it has the big barcode. But I'm not sure. Alright, uh. Catalepsy, old school deathcore band. This is from like uh, 08, I think, too. That's my favorite song on it by them. Trust, Whisper is a good song too. But uh, yeah, I got that one on. I got that one for free with um, a different order that I got a couple other CDs. Um, Connor Fix's first album, Dead My Arms. You can see I got it for nine bucks. I got it at a local local CD store that I wouldn't expect to find it at. It's the Digi cover or whatever you call it, did you case, did you pack, there you go, um, look at the first album, got the second one, my favorite one, Disease and Poison, one of my favorites over the years too, um, Conjunctive, they're a black and death chord band from, I think Switzerland, I believe, they got uh, two vocalists, they got a girl vocalist and a boy vocalist, I highly recommend checking them out if you like uh, black metal and shit like that, um, Chamber of Malice, German Deathcore re re Rehabilitation, can't talk. Got this one, they um, they had a couple left on their site, so um, I picked up one of these. And I also picked up their first EP, Dead Sea Deathcore, that they, um, they repressed it for people that didn't get it the first time. Um, here's one I just got recently, Dealey Plaza, Masonic Diaries, one of my favorite CDs that came out in 2013. 
Um, it's just an Amazon MP3 CD. So I don't know why I bought two of them, but fuck it, I bought two of them. I got the sealed one somewhere. All right, start the next. Trust your grins, um, Desolation of Eden CD. I got this new for like, I don't know, $10 at the same store. I got the Carnifex CD from, and I figured I haven't had it, so I figured, fuck it, let me just buy it. Um, Colira, it's an old school MySpace deathcore band. Answer to Infection. I think this came out in, um, in 2008 from Compton Records. So it's a pretty good CD if you like old school deathcore. Cryptopsy's uh, Unspoken King album. It's a weird album. I mean, I just got it for like a couple bucks at a store around here. And it was, um, it was one of their CDs where they, they did a few breakdowns, so... Most of the old school death metal fans didn't like it. it has some singing in it too, so it's kind of weird. Um, one of the greatest, the Spice Icon. That was a modern man. Got this on Amazon for like, I don't know, five bucks or something. I still need to get all the rest of their CDs and albums, EPs. I haven't got around to it yet. Well, here's the other copy of Dealer Plaza. Put that over there. Um, got this CD signed from uh, Eat a Helicopter. This is their Pessimist album. They got it repressed. They're supposed to be doing the the second EP also, but they haven't got around to it, I guess. I still want to get the one that came out last year. That was a great, great EP. Um, this CD I just got in yesterday. It's probably my rare CD. It's um, Any Breeze Malice. They're Australian metalog deathcore band. This is made in 2006, but I think it was produced in 08. You know. But uh, it says thanks for your support. I got it from um, Canty, which is the guitarist. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. I don't want to sound like a dick. But um, I've been talking to him a lot. Got friends with him and got a chance to buy this fucking gem. What the CD looks like inside. Pretty sick. One of my favorite EPs. I also got this CD, which is uh, the full length that came out after this, their second release. A lot of Deathcore again. Probably one of my favorite CDs also. Probably one of my favorite bands in general. Let's see, From the Shallows, Beyond the Unknown P. This shit's classic, it's one of my uh, favorite. This is like when I first started listening to Deathcore. I got into this fucking CD because the vocalists and the breakdowns and the drummer is just all fucking perfect. I got it on Amazon for a couple bucks too. Which I was fucking stoked. Because that's one of my favorite EPs. Um, I didn't even know they made physical of these. It's uh, I Killed Everyone, Dead Peasants. They're a deathcore band from uh, Chicago. I'm not sure if they're around anymore because I know they turned a little bit more death metal on their later release. So I'm not sure if they are uh, still around. I know the Tom, the Tom the original drummer still isn't in the band. So uh, I'm not sure. Another CD I got from Compton Records, brand new, sealed. Um, I declare wars, Mrs. Bloodshed EP. It was on sale for like three bucks or some shit, so I was like, I can't pass that fucking thing up. Here's uh, my favorite I declare war CD, Malevolence. This is probably easily one of the heaviest deathcore albums ever fucking made. Just uh, John, he's a fucking beast of a vocalist. It's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I got two more sets here. Not sure how many CDs I have all together. I think I have about 50 something. I'll probably do it at the end of the year once I get some more. Or maybe, um, I don't know, beginning of the year. But, um, here's a Metal Core CD I got for you know, a couple bucks. Haste of Day, Dreamer. One of my favorite uh, Metal Core bands. And one of my first Metal Core bands that I liked before I got into Deathcore and all that heavier shit. Um, sorry, I had to take a sticker off. It's a pretty solid CD. Madman Haunting. 68, my favorite song on CD. Um, here's Hester Prince, God's Will Divorce. Pretty sick fucking CD. Came out in uh, 09, I think. Been one of my favorites over the years, so I figured I'd get it. It was on Amazon before they put out their other CD and they fucked up with all those people. But, um. Alright, got another one. Alright, sorry I had to plug in the fucking the camera. Cause it was dying. 
But uh, next on the list, I miss the Lion Shadows. Pretty good album. Um, I really like these are Christian Deathcore band. If you guys haven't heard of them, I don't think they're around anymore though. They were on Face Down Records, 2011. Still want to get their other releases if I can get them. I'm not sure if I can or not. Um, just CD Jungle Rot, death metal band. Not really a CD. It's more of like covers. Just like a cover CD, and then one new song. I like their newer stuff better than this CD, but it was only a couple bucks, so I fucking picked it up. Kill Switch Engage, classic metalcore band, As Daylight Dies, one of my favorite CDs from them. With Howard, when they had Howard. Classic metalcore. I also have uh, The End of Heartache. Got those both for five bucks, brand new at uh, Wooden Nickel, which is a local store. Um, Legacy of Pain, I got this CD when I ordered my Suffocate CD. This has, um, I believe, Jared, the old singer from Suffocate's first album, and um, the drummer, I believe. It's pretty good, uh, old school deathcore band. I like MySpace type deathcore. Um, my Bitter End, Stagic Sentiments, I bought this for like three or four bucks. They had it on sale at any merch, I think it was. So, um, and I have the renovation too, which is this CD, which is one of my all time favorites. I just uh, let my friend have it, and I bought a couple more, so uh, I don't have that one with me. Alright, um, Neither Chalet, awesome deathcore band from. Um, the U.S., I'm not sure what state, I don't remember. The vocalist has uh, really sick fucking vocals, which is uh, Corey Wayne right here. Um, but I got signed by them. It's their 2012 CD that came out, Filth. Um, really heavy deathcore band. Um, I also have the EP that came out this year before they broke up. Dark Side of Paradise, awesome EP. It's five tracks. I got a breakdown video on my channel if you want to look at that. See how they sound, but um, yeah, that's just my slip case, so that's why I had it separate. Um, Salt and Swine, Lights Out. I bought the same time I bought I Killed Everyone from um, Inner Strength Records on their band camp because they had these. I was fucking so stoked when I saw this. One of my favorite Deathcore CDs from uh, MySpace before they broke up. This came out in uh, 010, I believe. Rose Funeral, Resting Sonata, one of my all-time favorite Deathcore CDs. Tammy on vocals, just a fucking beast. The fucking breakdowns are ridiculous. And I was just so fucking stuck on the CD when it came out. Hands down, one of my favorite Deathcore bands. I also have Get to Punishment, came out in 2011. It's a little more on the death metal side, but still Deathcore, still a solid release. People are bitching about it, but uh, you know, they're pussies, so. Pretty six CD, one of my favorite songs. Probably be Arise, because that slammy part in it. But uh, I wasn't gonna get the first EP on Amazon, they had them for sale, but I kept pushing it off, pushing it off. Now they have no more for sale, and now CDs are going for like $200, and I'm fucking kicking myself in the head for it. All right, down to the last bunch here. Um, Shadows Fall, Fire from the Sky CD. I like the older stuff. I just bought this for, I don't know, a couple bucks used. So I just fucking said, fuck it, I'll pick it up. Since I like the older stuff. Here's, um, can't see the case. Some of the Ancients Famine. This is a local band from uh, where I am. They're like a progressive deathcore band. For fans of probably, I'd say, wretched types music. Wretched and Within the Ruins, but uh, this isn't Metalcore or Deathcore, but I got it anyways, System of Downs, first CD, heavy as fuck, got it for a couple bucks, and I love System of Down, one of my favorite bands, so I said fuck it, let me get that, Suffocate Oakland, that's the CD I got when I got Legacy of Pain and that Catalepsy CD, um, their first CD, is a repress though, came out 2000, what, 2004 is when it was re originally released, but this is a 2008 reprint. 
Texas is July 1 Reality, one of my favorite fucking CDs from them. Just really bouncy and really, I don't know, really good CD. A Thousand Lies, my favorite song. I haven't checked out the new shit yet. Metalcore band from uh, Germany, Virtue Concept. This is their 2012 CD called Sources. Got it signed from the guys over there. Um, really good melodic metalcore band. So if you guys really like melodic metalcore, just go check them out. They always need new fans. Not sure if you know this CD. With Bloodcombs Cleansing. Golgotha. I think it's how you're saying it. Got it for Amazon for like, I don't know this is like two bucks or something like that. Blood and Ink Record, so I was like, fuck it. One of the best MySpace Deathcore bands that broke up. And I also have the CD that came out after that. Horror. Kind of weird lighting. So that's pretty sick. And White Chapel, Smite Defilement. It's classic if you listen to Deathcore. This might like one of my first Deathcore bands besides Elijah or Elysia, however you say it. Which I never got a chance to buy a CD because no one would come off of theirs. But, um, yep, one of my favorite CDs and, uh, my last hard copies. Yellow Sign, Ancient, this is a fucking gem for sure. If you don't know these guys, they were, um, progressive melodic deathcore band that was from, uh, Detroit, I think it was. This came out in 2010. Um, it's the only one that they officially pressed. They didn't press the other CD that they came out with. I'm not sure about the EPs before this one and um, Post Oblivion, but uh, that's one of my favorite CDs I own. Pretty sick that I got my hands on it. Okay, I got a couple slip cases for the last ones. I won this in a free raffle from uh, Through My Eyes, Victoria. Pretty good CD. It's a symphonic deathcore band. I think they're from Illinois, but don't quote me on that. Um, pretty good CD, I guess check it out. Um, the After Effect, Taken Alive, just has like two songs on it. And I got it from a guy when I bought a CD off of him, the Yellow Science CD. Here's one of my other gems, Benny Sky's first EP. Got it signed by the band they had them um, for sale. For, I don't know, like $7 or like $14 shipped or something like that. They were trying to get cleared out of their shit since they aren't going to be a band anymore, which is bullshit. So I figured I'd fucking buy it. I still need to get the other three CDs I have. And then, uh, last but not least, I got, uh, Petroglyphs. Really, really good metalcore band. A lot of metalcore band from, uh, California. They don't sing too much, which I like. Um, because I don't really like singing in my metalcore anymore. But, uh, really solid releases from them. So, uh, pretty much all the CDs I got. I'm, I'm not sure how many I got, I didn't count it. But, um, just figured I'd do a little different video on my channel since I'm always doing breakdown videos or in full streams or car videos and shit. But, um, I'll still be doing those, but I figured I'd just do this for all you people that watch my channel that may have CDs. But, um,. If you guys want, you guys can uh, check out the link below for Deathcore CD group that we sell and trade on Facebook, which I'll be posting this video on there too. But um, go ahead and check that out if you want to go in there and see some CDs, collections, and fucking sell some shit. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe.